Hello, Tyler McAllister here with RV Sales of Oregon. Uh, if you're looking at this video, go to our website, www.rvsalesoforegon.com. All one word, RV Sales of Oregon. Anyway, today's coach, a 2016 40 AH Tiffin Phaeton. It's a Phaeton by Tiffin. Anyway, you probably know more about these motorhomes than I do. I didn't sell these uh, new, and I'm not really well versed. I know a little bit to be a little bit, but not a lot. So anyway, I'm going to go through it as best I can. One-piece windshield, Freightliner chassis, 380 Cummins, six-speed Allison transmission, pack brake, 13,287 miles on the coach. Um, great, awesome floor plan. Full body paint. I can get you a copy of the build sheet if you want to know all the particulars as far as the exact color schemes. I do know that the interior cabinetry is chestnut. Anyway, it's a 40 foot tag. Um, you have an awning over the entry door here. You've got four slides, uh, topper awnings on all four slides, a large uh, patio awning here that goes clear down to here over your um, outside entertainment center which has a nice large LG flat screen TV. Um, storage space is abundant both inside and out. You have a small storage area there. This is your hydraulic pump for one of your uh, slide out mechanisms. You have a joey bed here, a joey bed here, and then more storage back here. Lots of storage space for a 40 tag um, coach. Like I said, you've got an awning, four toppers on each. Uh, over each slide room. You have storage space back here. This is a battery compartment. A lot of people I've seen in the past have put pegboard up here to where they, they can hang stuff, wrenches, um, chains, doodads, whatever. You can hang stuff there. That's a nice use of space. Back here is more storage space. You have a cubby hole here and then there's some circuitry here. This coach is loaded with uh, options. It's got a lot of options on it. Large um, ladder. And notice the ladder's fixed. It's not clear up here to where you gotta climb real high to get to the ladder. Uh, they did a nice job there. Backup camera. It's a rear radiator coach. Like I said, it's a three, 380 horse um, Cummins engine. Back over here, you've got storage space. There's um, some extras that go with the coach. That's the nice thing about having a consigned coach or a pre-owned coach. The people that bought the coach bought a lot of extra accessories and typically those go along with a motorhome so that actually saves you money and time um, when you go to buy a coach like this. Power cord reel, it's a 50 amp service coach. There's your def tank right there for your uh, 380 horse Cummins engine. Down here is going to be your wet bay. Wet bay area here, there's a lot of extra fittings and stuff that the uh, customer has included in the coach so you don't have to run around to hardware stores once you get somewhere to try and figure out how to operate everything. All of it's pretty much there. Uh, notice too that your water pump is right here. That's a nice um, design feature. If your water pump does in fact go out, it's simple just to uh, pull it out and put a new one in. And water pumps are something that are a pretty high usage um, item on these coaches on any make, model, or brand. Um, just because they're on demand all the time. So you're turning them on, turning them off, surges of water, no surges of water, um, they wear. So it's important that it's, it's in a nice location to where if you need to service it, you can. Here's the other side of the uh, one of the pass-through storage bays. The other one you can see is up forward. I'm not gonna bend down and uh, duplicate this. Nice windows. They're nice and flush mounted. You've got window awnings over all the windows as well as topper awnings. Uh, your fuel fills right here. It's right underneath the uh, driver's compartment so it's easy to get to. Circuits and uh, fuses and breakers and all that stuff are in this compartment directly below the uh, cockpit area. This co <coughs> excuse me, this coach has a 10,000 uh, KW Onan generator, one piece windshield, real clean lines. And like I said, if you're looking at this video, you're probably looking at a coach like this. The thing I'll tell you, my only personal opinion about this motorhome is, is the floor plan is absolutely awesome. I don't get the opportunity to sell many newer coaches doing what we do now, but this is a nice coach. You come in here, you got a nice flat screen TV, um, chestnut cabinets, 
The cockpit I find to be very user friendly. Um, full air brakes, of course. You have two video monitors, one's for your side cameras and your rear camera. The other one, I believe, is for your GPS system. <coughs> Excuse me, six speed Allison transmission, jacks, real nice field of vision as far as your windows go. You can see your side mirrors real easily. Um, everything's comfortable. You come into tile. There's tile completely through the um, interior of the motorhome. Freightliner chassis. What's not to like? It's really well lit. Tons and tons of storage. You got um, cable set up there for your satellite and your cable. Storage space here. <coughs> Excuse me. You have two controllers here for your um, AC comfort. You can set those at whatever you want to there. Over here, more storage space. You've got your uh, power control system up here for your... Um, gives you a readout pretty much everything as far as your power goes, whether you're on 50 amp service, 30 amp service, whatever, um, is right here. Your inverter controls right here. You've got awning controls here. Weingard uh, satellite system, I believe it's a tra traveler, is up on the roof. Um, and then you have slide out controls here as well as um, entry light uh, switch. Back here, I'll start over here on the driver's side of the coach. You got an L-shaped sofa. This is a hide bed It pulls out into a nice size bed here. You've got cabinetry, MCD shades throughout the entire coach. You've got the dark, and you have the light. Cabinets all the way through here. Nice soft touch leather pleather, if you will, sofa. It's not real leather, but it's uh, it's man-made. Um, nice mirror here with a nice fireplace. Create some ambiance here in the living room area. Then you move over to the passenger side. You've got a uh, nice size back bar. Two nice decorative chairs with a pull-out table that pulls out. There's two more chairs in the back that accommodate uh, up to four people here. Lots of space, lots of cabinets in this coach. And in a coach like this, I mean, it's designed for a full timer. You want a lot of storage space. Real nice decorative um, window treatments in the coach. The colors are earth tone. They're real nice. It flows well. There's no smells, no pets, no smoke, no leaks. Like I said, this coach has 13,000 miles on it. Sitting here in Oregon, it probably had 5,000 or at least 3,500 getting it from uh, Red Bay, Alabama to here. Pull out bar. Most people would expect that in a coach like this. You have that area there to work with. Drawers here. Nice high quality drawers. They open and close real easily. Cabinet space up here with uh, lots of built-in drawers for e extra storage. You have a dishwasher here. It's a Fisher Paykel. Nice pot pan drawer down here. Flat, smooth top um, induction cooktop here. It's a real nice feature for um, <coughs> a lot of RVs are going to that now. Huge stainless steel sink. Got a nice deep area there where you can put large pots and pans and wash them fairly easily. Um, nice high-end residential Hans Grohe um, faucet. And everything's easy to get to. You have all your controllers right here. They're, they're well lit. Nice tasteful backsplash here. More drawers, of course, over here. There's three more drawers here. You've got the storage space down below. They have a, an area where you can put your um, countertop. Sink covers can go down in there. You move over here. Well, let's stay here. We'll go to the um, Whirlpool residential refrigerator with a large freezer down below. Flip over directly across is the bathroom area and this is what makes this coach awesome is the bathroom. You walk through the door here in the kitchen or you can go through back here into the bathroom area so you get a really good separation of space. I'm about 6'4". I got lots of room to move around. The shower is awesome. It's a fiberglass surround, surround. Plenty of room for me to get in here and do what I need to. 
um, a nice LED light here to provide more light in the shower as well as a um, sunshade. Um, you know, the, the faucets, the wand's nice. Still on tile, you go to a double sink. Tasteful backsplash, really nice modern fixtures, a huge um, medicine cabinet with mirrors all the way around. Everything's lit really well. You've got storage space here, space here, and then three nice sized drawers here to accommodate a lot of um, hair goods, whatever you want to do. Uh, residential toilet here. Back here into the bedroom area. You have a, a queen size bed, at least it appears to be a queen. Storage space up above, real nice decorative headboard. Um, windows on each end so you can get some nice cross ventilation in here. These cabinets up above the bed are super deep. I mean, there's a ton of storage space in here. You've got space underneath each nightstand to put stuff in. You've got this huge area over here with a nice big flat screen TV once again. An area to get ready if you want to. Big large drawers, put sweaters, bulky foldable items there. Space up here. And then this huge area below the TV. You've got room for your um, all your components here. A nice hamper here. A couple more drawers. And then you've got some nice decorative wall art in the coach. Then you move back here into another area and this is a uh, stack washer dryer here. Storage space back below in here. This is actually where a lot of your circuitry is and breakers here. But nonetheless, you have a nice spot to put stuff here. Full hanging area across here. Your safe is easy and accessible right here. More built-ins here with nice drawers. Area to put shoes if you wanted to there. And then a series, <coughs> excuse me, of four more drawers across here down below. This is really an impressive motorhome, um, and we're thankful that we have it here at RV Sales of Oregon. It's a 2016 40 AH Phaeton, um, 13,287 miles. Great full timers coach, or a great first timers coach, whatever you want. This is a nice motorhome and it's available here. We're located in Eugene, about 10 minutes from the Eugene Airport. Call me. Um, I'm sure you're going to have questions that I can't answer, but I can tell you one thing. I've been doing this long enough. It's not what you know always. It's who you know. And if you know us here, it'll be a good reason for you to come and buy. Thank you.